Hi, I'm Jake from Sturber Janky Workshop. I'm here to show you how to put together the corner desk. The first thing you want to do is make sure the hardware and parts lists match what came in your box. Make sure you have all the pieces. If you're missing any pieces, you can always get more from us. For the first step, you're going to need part 7 and part 8, as well as two cam locks, the cam bolt, and two of the dowels. I'm going to start by taking um, part 8 and then just putting the dowels on the two far ends. I'm going to insert the cam locks, making sure that the arrows are out towards where the holes are. And you just stick the cam bolt inside, bring the two together, and simply tighten them down. And that's step one. For step two, what you're going to do is put step one to the side. And then for step two, you're going to need parts 12, 13, and 14, as well as four of the larger Phillips head screws, the plastic slide, and four of the smallest Phillips screws. First thing you want to do is put in the plastic slide on the back of 13. There's four holes that correspond to the slide. You just put in the small screws. Next, we're going to put together the sides of the drawer, um, making sure that the inserts line up together. Just start them, making sure and we tighten them down with the screwdriver not to uh, over tighten them so it's, uh, it's able to move in case the drawer bottom needs a little extra room. Remember to make sure that all the grooves are lined up. The last piece. So then we can just take part 14 slide it right in. And that's step two. For step three, you're going to need part 11, which is the front part of the drawer, and four Phillips head screws, the knob, and the bolt to the knob. Yeah. So you're going to screw on the front to the drawer. Just lift it up a little bit, slide it in, and Screw it in your drawer front. Then we'll install the knob and make sure this is facing outward. Then just take the bolt and screw it in. And that's step three. For step four, you're going to need parts 15, 2, and 3. We'll start with one of the wooden dowels and insert that into the open hole on 15. And insert that into 3, making sure that the screws are perpendicular to each other. You also want to make sure that you're not screwing the bolts all the way down in this step. Just tight enough to put it together. Then we'll use another wooden dowel, insert it into two, and line them up with 15. And remember, you don't want to screw these all the way down, just tight enough to put it together. And that's step four. So for step five, we're going to need parts one and four, as well as two Allen bolts and one wooden dowel. You're going to make sure that the small wooden blocks on part four are even with the floor, and you're inserting the two together at the flat part of one. Then you just screw in your bolts. And you're going to want to make sure that, again, that you're not over tightening the bolts. And that's step five. 
So for step six, we're going to need parts from step five and step four, as well as uh, part five, two Allen screws, three wood dowels, and two of our Allen screws with the bolts. I'm going to use the three dowels and insert two of them into the center leg and one on the back of the far left leg. Then we'll take part number five, insert it into the dowel hole, and marry the two pieces. I'm going to make sure on part five that the angled screw holes are on the top facing you. Then you screw in part five. Then you want to screw in the bolts, the Allen bolts, into the center piece. Remember, don't over tighten it. We'll come back and tighten them down later. And that's step six. So for step seven, we're gonna be using part six and four of our Allen bolts. And we're gonna make sure that our holes on part six are facing down and against the floor, which it will be the top of the desk. And remember not to over tighten, because we're going to come back and tighten them back up. And that's step seven. For step eight, we're going to need piece 10 for the desktop, as well as four wooden dowels and six of our bolts with washers. For the dowels, you're going to want to insert them on the outer perimeter of the desktop. Next, we're going to lay our desk frame on top of the desktop. We're going to make sure to insert the dowels into the outermost edge and not the wooden blocks. Once you've inserted the frame onto the dowels, take your bolts and screw them in to the six holes on the outside. Remember not to tighten them down all the way. We'll come back and tighten down all of our bolts later. And that's step eight. For step nine, we're going to need part nine, two wooden dowels and two Phillips screws. We're going to start by inserting the wooden dowels and then just placing part nine on and screwing in our Phillips head screwdriver. And that's step nine. So for step 10, what you want to do is start with a partner and help hold the shelf from step one and just screw in the shelf with the four remaining bolts and washers. And that's step 10. And for step 11, we're just tightening down all of our bolts. For step 12, we're inserting the drawer into the desk. And you do so by uh, this plastic slide on the, in the glide underneath the desk. And the easiest way to do that is to flip the desk over. Be careful of the legs when lifting it. And just like drawers at home, slide it right in. 